Hi guys, I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing and today I want to talk to you about compound interest. So have you guys heard about the magic of compound interest? Because it's magic. In truth, it's really just math, but it feels like magic. When interest is compounded, rather than paid sort of in a straight line, linearly, the overall size of the investment grows exponentially faster. In other words, if you were to look at the growth of interest when you're being paid interest on your interest, it looks a bit on a on a chart like a hockey stick. It just it starts like this and then the longer time goes along, the steeper the growth goes. The effects are harder to see in the early years, but eventually they become very pronounced. So what is compounding and how does it work? To compound interest is the effect of reinvesting earnings from an original investment over and over and over again. In other words, if you don't spend the earnings from the investment, but you allow them to add to the original investment, the size of the investment will grow each time there's increased interest. So let's use an example. Imagine if you invest $100 at 10% per year for 50 years, but you don't reinvest the earnings. In that case, what you're gonna do is you're gonna earn $500 more than your original investment. This is because 10% of $100 is $10, and $10 each year multiplied by 50 is $500. So your total investment after 50 years will then be $100 you invest initially, plus $500 in the earnings, so you get a total of 600 bucks. Now, that's not a lot at 10% interest for 50 years, so, Imagine that you reinvest your earnings every single year over that 50 year period. So instead of just taking the earnings and then they sit there or you spend them or whatever, the first year you're gonna make 10% or 10 bucks on your initial $100. But this time you put that extra $10 into the $100 portfolio. And that means at the beginning of year two, you have $110 that is now going to earn 10%. And that means you're gonna end up at the end of year two with, what, what would that be? 10%, that's $11, right? So you're gonna add that $11 to the 110, and you're gonna have 121. So if you keep doing that for 50 years, then you would end up with an extra $11,739. Now that is cool, you heard me right. In the compounding example, you started with $100 and you end up with almost 12,000. That's substantially better than 600, right? So keep in mind that the example assumes annual compounding, whereas many investments compound more frequently. Although in our investing strategy, we don't really consider more frequent compound. That's more like what you'd worry about in bond uh, rates of return. In any case, the more frequently interest is compounded, the quicker your money is gonna grow, right? So for investors, what that means is compounding allows you to take a small amount of money invested real early in your life, and if you leave it alone to compound, it'll actually give you more for retirement than a much larger amount invested later in your life. So keeping with similar numbers to our earlier example, to demonstrate the importance of early investing, let's take a look at this. The important thing here is that compounding has its biggest effect when invested as early as possible. And that point can't be emphasized too much. So this is one of the reasons we wanna teach all of you guys how to invest because then you're gonna teach your kids. And your kids, you know, they're not 45 years old. They can get started on this when they're teenagers. And then compounding can make them very, very rich in two ways. First, once you understand it, you should plan on investing whatever you can, as much as you can, as early as you can in your life. So if you're at an age where it's too late for your life to see major effects from compounding, then look to set up something for your family, for your kids. A little bit of money set aside for the kids or the grandkids at birth can grow into something that makes retirement a breeze with the magic of compounding. So second, you can now consider how lenders use compounding. For any debt you have, you should ask yourself, how is that interest calculated? Like credit cards are notorious for frequent compounding periods. Those minimum payments, 
They're specifically calculated to ensure that you never ever pay the debt off because you just stick with the minimum. In short, they're designed to keep you in debt forever. So keep that in mind whenever you borrow money as well as when you're investing. When you're borrowing, it's working against you, compounding is, and when you're investing, it's working for you. Now here's something really, really amazing. We go back to the example of compounding money at 10% a year. What if you could compound that same amount of money at 26% a year? Compounding at 26% a year will double the amount of money you have every three years. So let's go back to our 50 year period of time. That gives us almost 20 doubles. 20 doubles on $100, you wanna see where that goes? 20 doubles on 100, let's just run through it really fast. That's 200, 400, 800, 1600, 3200, 64, 12, let's call it 12,000, 24,000, call it 25, 50, 100,000, that's 10 doubles. 100,000, 200, 400, 800, 1.6 million, 3.2 million, 6.4 million, 12.8 million, call it 13 million, 26 million, 52 million, 104 million dollars. Did you just see that? Okay, we started with $100, we compounded at 10% for 50 years, and we ended up with 12,000. We started with $100, we compounded at 26% per year, we ended up with 100 million. So do you think it might be worth focusing intently on learning how to invest the way the best investors in the world do it, so starting with virtually any amount of money, you can become wealthy? Now I'd love to hear from you guys. Are you taking advantage of compounding investments like you should be? Leave a comment below with your answer and I'll be sure to follow up with you. So thanks for watching, now go play. If you enjoyed this video and you feel it was valuable in teaching you more about investing in compound interest, hit the like button and please share this video with your friends. And if you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.